Can you share some advice from your perspective and experience uh, for brand marketers to maybe be a tad cautious? The marketplace is being flooded with solutions that are mobile-based solutions. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's almost impossible for any one person to keep up with uh, what's the best of the best. Um, just when you think you've done your complete analysis of all the mobile DSPs or the mobile video solutions out there, there's a whole other wave right behind it. Um, I think unless you're a bleeding edge company that is really, really ready to take risks, but uh, even, even they are going to be a little bit cautious, I think you need to sort of stick close to the tried and true companies first and foremost and get educated by them. Leverage their solutions, allow them to educate you, and allow that to be the lead to go out into the marketplace. So, encountering a Facebook, a Google, understanding how mobile video plays in their world, and using that as the basis to judge, uh, and the measuring stick to judge other solutions out there. Um, I think there's, there's a lot of risk out there, especially with the data, and, and that we don't want to be, um, we don't want to be behind the uh, the drivers, the, the, the wheel at the time when the FTC comes through and says, hey, all that data you were using, that was captured incorrectly. Um, so I think the, the, the safest way to do that is to go with the companies that have a reputation, that are leading the way in the discussions and, and actually developing the new, uh, the new formats and the, and the new regulations around it. What are you feeling about where we are with mobile video and more importantly where you think it's going as far as enabling the brand marketer? Well, we're still we're even more confirmed today than we were yesterday that um, that video is the most powerful um, vehicle to get a message across. I think the the term video gets a little bit bastardized and gets a little bit confusing if we're talking about the content, the video content that we're we're playing around, or the video advertising that we're putting out there, or video as content. I think we need to be a little bit more specific in this space. And I also think that we have an opportunity um, as we start talking about the mobile space to establish new vernacular and a consistent way of talking. Personal story, I've, I, with, with three close friends who are in the industry, all talking about mobile, we sat there and realized we were having a conversation about totally different things using the same words. So establishing some, some foundational frameworks, but also uh, consistent vernacular is important. I think the video opportunity is fantastic. I think the scalability of creative content is, is very difficult for brands to get their arms around. How do I get lots of little videos out there and at the same time remain true to the, the, um, the high quality pieces of advertising that I've been doing for years? There's a place and time for all of it. And as I was reflecting on and preparing for having this conversation, I was thinking a lot about the different variables that were at play. And the variables that were at play in the desktop, um, you always knew that they were at their desk, right? You kind of knew where they were physically, that wasn't changing. Um, and the, the variables were more around the creative, the messaging, uh, the targeting, and the context. Now with mobile, you could be anywhere on any size screen and the variables have just more than doubled. Is it going to be the game changer that we're going to be able to do deeper, richer, more uh, qualified, better data on engagement on mobile channels and mobile platforms than, in, than we've seen before? Yeah, because engagement isn't a click. It's not just a click anymore, right? It's, it's that you run proximity to something. It's, the, it's, uh, it's things that go beyond what desktop and laptops allowed you to do, right? It, it, it helps you to time spend and clicks and, and engagements in the form of uh, hovering over and liking things and commenting things. Those were all there before. I think now your proximity and your, your propensity to, and the connecting of the dots between, you know, there's a lot of fear about the, the going away of cookies. You, when you're at a conference like this, you don't hear that the elimination of cookies is, is any, uh, anyone's concern. There's no concern here. But at the same time, the, the industry and the, and the pubs do talk a lot about it, and they talk about why Facebook is so much, so much further ahead of the pack. Um, I'm actually surprised that Facebook isn't talked more about, considering the time spent on Facebook and the amount of dollars spent on Facebook in the mobile space. It's sort of, it's very interesting that that becomes sort of a, a, a set aside because I think they're growing their kingdom, and I think they're, they're actually apt to become <laughs> a big ecosystem, which we can't, we can't avoid.